Good evening. It's been a little more than 24 hours since a plane full of migrant children landed in Erie. Tonight, their futures are still very much up in the air. The story is new at 10 o'clock. This is the scene that played out on the tarmac just west of Erie International Airport last night. 146 girls, all under the age of 12, from the U.S.-Mexican border arriving in Erie after a flight from Texas. Upon arrival, they had a chance to shower. They were also given clean clothing and food. Officials say the children were tested for COVID and other medical conditions. There's now a medical team from the National Institute of Health that will stay with the kids for the time being. They're also being supported by the Holy Family Institute out of Pittsburgh. So I can't speak exactly to why Erie was chosen. Um, I can speak to the good work that Erie has always done when presented with individuals in need. Well, now that they're safely here, where they go next becomes a top priority. Julia Hazel joins us now live outside the dormitory where they're staying. Julia. Good evening, Sean. Yes, right here at Pennsylvania International Academy is where the migrant children are being temporarily housed and hopefully soon will find a family member in the United States. The 146 migrant children that traveled from the U.S.-Mexico border are now housed at Pennsylvania International Academy in Erie and are still waiting on what the next legal steps are for the children. The easiest step would be to find a relative in America, which is not going to happen, I don't think. Secondly, uh, reunification to find their parent. That's very important. Three, determine status. Andrew Zesky says in order to determine the status of the children, there needs to be a compelling need to be here. Everybody's waiting for is the Biden administration to say either we're going to change the rules, we're going to modify the rules, or we're going to ask for some sort of blanket asylum, or in the end, what they've been doing, they send them back. According to U.S. Department of Health and Human Services representative, if the children cannot get in touch with a family member, the caseworker will identify its sponsor for the children, which could be a volunteer or anyone. Sponsors are asked to fill out a form, releasing all information, they're fingerprinted, they're interviewed, just to make sure that the child is put in a safe family atmosphere. With Pennsylvania International Academy being an emergency use site, Erie might be expecting more migrant children in the near future. I'm sure they will because we have the capacity to have yeah. so many more kids here. Um, it, the capacity is, I think, uh, 548, but we'll probably stay under 500 just so the kids aren't crowded. Uh, I feel sorry for them. They're children, and I think we all have to remember that. They are children, and they're children who don't have their parents around. Now, even though Danner says that there's still no dates yet on to when to expect more migrant children in the Erie area, it is in the works. Sean. Julia Hazel in Summit Township live tonight. Thank you, Julia.